going on you wonderful people my name is brandon welcome back to creating tv so in today's video i don't want to take up too much of you guys' time thanks for watching my last two videos thanks for commenting on those videos really appreciate it and new subscribers welcome to creating tv let's get it so this is another tutorial video i want to show you because a lot of you guys have been hitting me up asking how you fix the uh the delay with streamlabs obs on a mac and i finally figured out some kind of some kind of little work still in the works but i'm going to give you this little pointers what you should do so if you stream on twitch TwitchTV.com. You stream on Twitch. All of them should be the same. You just got to find them in your platform. I know the one for YouTube. I haven't found the one for Facebook. If there is any delay, if you stream on Facebook or Mixer, I haven't found that, but it should all be in your settings. So what you want to do, if you stream on Twitch, this is what you want to do. You want to go to your internet, go to Twitch. First things first, you want to do this. So you want to go, go to your Twitch channel, make sure you're signed in, go to settings, go to channel and videos, and scroll right here where it says late, latency mode. Yours might be set to normal. Make sure you on Twitch, they only have low, so enable it to low latency. You know, it says best near for real time interaction with viewers. So make sure that's on that. On YouTube, you will have three options. You will have normal, low, and ultra. Make sure yours is on ultra low latencies. That means they give you, for YouTube, that gives you real time interaction with your viewers and everything else. You can put it on low, but if you do it on YouTube and you put it on low, you might have like a slight two to five second delay. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I've been seeing around. I don't stream on YouTube, so I wouldn't know, but it, make sure you have the option for ultra low latency, bam. And you, if, if you do for Mixer and Facebook gaming or you stream on those platforms, just check your settings, check for that and look for that in your settings and you should be able to find that. After you find that, you want to figure out, okay, you got that now so you can interact with your viewers real time. The next thing you want to do is you want to open up Streamlabs OBS. And a lot of people says, oh, it crashes for them. Yeah, well, just close it out or turn off your computer and restart it. So there we go. You know, you see the mic and everything, the game audio is just searching. I don't have a game on right now. So if you want to enable, uh, if you don't want to delay on Streamlabs, this is what you can do. You can go to settings, come down here to advanced, and then when you scroll down, you're going to see stream delay. Make sure it's not enabled because if you enable it, it will give you a delay. It took me a while to figure that out and I was sitting there mad. I'm like, why is this going on? Why am I still getting a delay after all this, you know, everything that I have done? But yeah, so make sure you, you take stream delay and uh, don't check it because if you enable it, it will give you a stream delay. And a lot of people, a lot of people videos that I've been searching up and saying, oh, you enable it and you won't get no lag or no delay. No, if you enable it, you will get a lag and delay. So make sure you uncheck that, you can leave that unchecked, automatic reconnect, you do wanna enable that one. So make sure you have that one uh, enabled and everything else you should be good to go from right there. Just make sure you take a uh, stream delay and uncheck it. That's from, this is, you know, you using Mac. Cause everybody, all the videos I've been searching, everybody's been saying, yeah, you wanna enable it and everything else, but no. That should help out with your delay. You should, it should cut you down to about, you know, zero to five second um, delay. I'm still trying to get down where you have zero second delay, where you don't have no delay, you can interact the whole time while you're streaming or recording. So once you do that, everything should be all good. If you want to check your, if you have a webcam or whatever, cause you know, face the, uh, whatever, if you have an iMac, MacBook, you know, that webcam on there is also good too. So you can also use that. I just bought a separate webcam, but whatever your webcam is set up, go down, click where it is, go to filters and make sure uh, if you do have a filter applied, make sure you don't add no sync delay or nothing. Other than that, you should be good to go. And yeah, so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys did like, like this video, subscribe if you're new. New subscribers, welcome to the channel. And we're on our way to 700 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button, dog. Let's go. I got another video coming out because you guys want to know how do you get the, the desktop audio to sync in and everything and pull up when you're playing the game. So just in case you want to hear the desktop audio, you know, playing music while you live stream and your viewers want to you know, hear, hear some interaction with that. I do got another video coming up with that. So make sure you like this video. Subscribe if you're new. Come back to the channel because another tutorial will be how to get that video for you guys to get your desktop audio. Then I got another video coming up on the best Streamlabs settings for macOS. So give me some time on that. But other than that, I hope you did enjoy this video. It's your boy Brandon coming to you from Crate TV, and I'm signing out of it. Peace.